Hi, my name is Wes. I am an integrator here at ClearPath Robotics, and uh, I'm here today to show you our latest integration, a uh, Ridgeback featuring a KUKA arm on top of a lifting column. So, this integration is based off of our Ridgeback omnidirectional platform. Uh, this platform is currently being powered by just our base computer. Um, it's an i3 processor, 16 gigs of RAM, and a 250 gig hard drive out of the box. Um, it is running uh, ROS Noetic at this time. Um, this Ridgeback has been upgraded with front and rear facing SICK LMS 111 LiDARs. Uh, these are two-dimensional LiDARs that give the robot a full 360 degree view of its surroundings, which could be used for things like mapping or collision avoidance. Um, moving upwards, we have a 1500 watt inverter on board. This inverter is powering both the Sunrise control cabinet, which is connected to the KUKA arm, and it is also powering the Ewelix lift controller. So this lift is made by Ewelix. It has a roughly 500 millimeter stroke, so it can lift up quite high. Um, this is the KUKA Iowa R800 arm. This arm has seven axes and a seven kilogram payload. So it's a very capable arm. Um, as you can see, we've also broken out the e-stop loop from the base vehicle for added safety and easier reach. If there's ever a reason to stop either the lift or the arm, um, both payloads will stop full motion if any of the six e-stop buttons found around the vehicle are pressed. One of the design requirements with this particular robot integration uh, was for the ability for the arm to be mounted on a 45 degree forward facing angle. So we've made this custom bracket which will mount between the adapter plate and the lift column and hold the arm on a 45 degree angle. Um, this allows the arm to also have a slightly lower reach in its current configuration. We can't quite reach the ground um, and we're looking to get as close as possible. So mounting it on a 45 sort of gives us a bit of a, a middle zone of still having a high reach, but also getting a little bit lower of a reach. This particular arm comes with a bunch of inputs and outputs and control connectors for mounting various grippers or end effectors, uh, whatever it is that the final customer wishes to put on there. Um, potential use cases. Uh, we've seen people work with, you know, picking up items on shelves. And so a stationary arm, you can only reach a certain number of shelves, but by adding the lift, you can now reach low shelves, you can reach high shelves, and then depending on, again, what end effector that you put on there, um, can sort of play into what objects you might be trying to move around or manipulate or uh, really whatever it is that you decide you wanna do with it. Well, everybody, uh, we thank you very much for joining us today. Uh, I hope you enjoyed seeing this particular robot integration. Don't forget to like and subscribe and follow for more interesting content to come.